Welcome to this video tutorial for lofting in 3D Studio Max. I'm working in version 2009 today, but lofting is more or less the same in other versions of Max. Now you might be wondering, what is lofting? Well, it's basically taking a 2D object, much like this star, and having it follow along a path like this line, and creating a brand new 3D object. Now we're going to be making a screwdriver today, which is a bit more complex. So I've already created my path and my 2D spline objects that I'll use to shape out my screwdriver. Once you've created yours, we can get started. First thing you want to do, select your path. Make sure you're in the Create tab, have Geometry selected, and in the drop down where it usually says Standard Primitives, go to Compound Objects. Click on Loft and under creation method, get shape. Go over and select your first object. Now we're going to begin by making the handle of the screwdriver. And we want this first circle to last for about 5% of the total path. So I'm going to go over to path, type in 5 for 5%, get shape, and click on circle. Now we need to start the grip for the handle, which is this object right here. I want that to start right away, so I'm going to go 1% more to 6, get shape, click on the grip. I'm going to want this to last for about 40% of the object. I'm just going to type in 40, get shape, and click on the gripped object again. Now I want it to go back to this smoother object that we had before. So 41%, get shape, and click on our first circle. Now most screwdrivers usually have a thinner part right before the tip starts. So I'm going to go to 45%, get shape, and click on our medium sized circle. From there I'm going to go to 49%, get shape, click on our larger circle again. Now we're ready to form our tip. I'm going to go 1% more from 49 to 50, get shape, and click on the smallest circle. Now it's starting to look like a screwdriver. From here, we want the long part to go to about here, so 90%, let's say. I'm going to type in 90, get shape, and select our small circle again. Now we need a tip. So we're making a flathead screwdriver. I'm going to type in 93, get shape, and select our rectangle. And to finish it off, I'm going to go all the way to 100%, get shape, and click on our rectangle again. I'm going to go all the way to the end of our 3D object. Now you may notice that there is some distortion here. It twists like it's not supposed to. That's an easy fix. I'm going to show you how to fix that right now. We're going to go to our Modify tab. Click on that. And under the Loft Modifier, drop down, select Shape, and select our last two extrusions that we made. We're going to use our Rotate tool and rotate it until it's fixed. Now what I like to do to finish it off is select our very tip, go to our scale tool, and scale down just a bit. And that's how you make a 3D screwdriver using lofting. Thank you. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below. I'll be happy to help.